someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, January 3rd. I'm James Spann. Cold is the word. Big time cold next week, but today will be cold enough. Uh, let's take a look at the water vapor satellite image this morning. The big northeastern snowstorm is winding down. Uh, the upper trough will rotate off the upper Atlantic coast today. And, of course, in the wake of that thing, it's cold. Uh, it's actually colder than these numbers. Uh, it looks like these probably came in from about 3 o'clock. Birmingham was down to 20 at 5 o'clock, but at that point it was 18 at Haleyville, and you still got a wind of about 10 miles an hour out of the north, producing wind chill indices in the single digits at daybreak. And the high today will be only in the middle 30s, despite the return of sunshine. That will take a little bit of the uh, edge off the cold air today with the sun coming back. Around the nation, the eastern half of the U.S. is just brutally cold. And you think it's cold now, wait until you see the numbers early next week. And that'll be the big story and the focus for this forecast package is uh, uh, how cold we get and uh, maybe snow chances uh, Sunday evening and Sunday night. There's a watch warning map. Uh, those counties in Alabama, that's a red flag warning for a wildfire danger on the eastern side of the state. And to the northeast, we've still got some winter weather advisories from North Georgia on up into West Virginia. And, of course, uh, winter storm warnings up in the northeast, uh, New York City and Boston. Uh, some folks up in uh, Massachusetts with over two feet of snow from this thing. But, again, that will be winding down later today. And then up north, a blizzard warning in effect for a pretty good chunk of North Dakota with that uh, new impulse coming down the line. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is through Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock. And, of course, this is for the showers we see Sunday. And not a lot of rain. Uh, rain amounts of about a quarter inch. And, of course, this is the map that will pique everybody's interest. This is the chance of accumulating snow of greater than one inch from Sunday morning until Monday morning. And you can see there is some chance over about the northern third of Alabama, and we'll talk about that and much more as we get into detail here. Go through modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. A uh, big trough is sweeping off the upper Atlantic coast. Down below that, a 975 millibar bomb uh, well east of Cape Cod. Uh, still very windy on the upper Atlantic coast today. But around here, just sunny and cold. Uh, both the NAM and the GFS are printing a high of 36 today. Now, tomorrow morning is going to be cold. Uh, we'll be down in the low to mid-20s, anywhere from 20 to 24. But we warm up to the upper 40s tomorrow. We figure the high will be somewhere between 47 and 50, and the sky will stay mostly sunny. Great day for the BBVA Compass Bowl out at uh, Legion Field in Birmingham. I mean, you couldn't ask for better timing with getting that game in on that day. That will be the nicest day, no doubt. Now, this is Sunday. The, the Arctic front is advancing uh, from the northwest, and showers will likely break out during the day Sunday. And uh, we're going to be in the low, maybe even mid-50s on Sunday morning. So you'll wake up Sunday morning and think, hey, what's the big deal? It feels pretty good here. But don't get used to it. This is Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. The Arctic front is passing through uh, Birmingham. Uh, and in the colder air, the rain changes to snow over northwest Alabama, north Mississippi, western half of Tennessee. And this is Sunday night at midnight. And uh, light snow is almost all the way down to places like Grove Hill and Montgomery and Auburn. And... Uh, that's going to be a quick-hitting event, but it winds down late Sunday night, and this is Monday, and it's just very cold. Uh, you know, Sunday night, we go below freezing, and uh, again, we think we're going to stay below freezing for about 62 consecutive hours across north-central Alabama through Wednesday morning. Now, the question is, will there be any snow down? This is the snow depth coming off the GFS early Monday morning, and it's got a dusting uh, almost all the way down to uh, Demopolis and Clanton and Wadawi. Uh, with potential for maybe 
you know, a quarter inch up around the Tennessee Valley. And understand that, you know, this, I've said this before, this is kind of a red herring. This is no big deal. You know, people around here focus on snow, but the cold is the big story. But yes, there might be a dusting somewhere. This is the NAM early Monday morning at six o'clock. And it's got, again, just a little dusting, not much. The European, same thing. It's got a dusting down to maybe Birmingham and Anniston with possibly a half inch up over the Tennessee Valley. So is there a chance of snow Sunday night? Absolutely. I'd say there's a good chance of light snow, but it's going to be a quick hitting event, very windy. It moves out quickly. And uh, while there could be some light accumulation over the northern quarter of the state, I just don't think it's going to be a big problem. The cold is the big problem. Uh, all right, this is Tuesday, and that uh, Arctic high settles in here. And by the way, Monday will still have wind going on. The wind chill index Monday could be below zero at times. And Tuesday, the wind there clearly will be lighter with the surface high on top of us. But no doubt, Tuesday morning will be the coldest. The question is how cold? All right, this is coming off the European. It's printing 11 for Birmingham, 4 for Fort Payne, 6 for Huntsville. And that's pretty much in line with what we've got for our part of the state. We've got 8 to 13. We've set up that 5-degree range, and we're probably going to leave it there. I don't see a lot of reason for change. This is coming off the GFS early Tuesday morning, and it's got, again, lows generally in the 5 to 10-degree range here. And uh, these are the anomalies, temperature anomalies on Tuesday. And in some cases, temperatures are over 40 degrees below average. Uh, so we'll kind of stick with that 8 to 13 degree range. I don't know if you can feel the difference between 8, 9, 10, but you get the idea. That'll be our coldest morning since January 24th of 2003, a decade. All right, now this is Wednesday. Now, Wednesday morning is going to be cold. Uh, in fact, hey, the, the GFS is actually printing 10 here early Wednesday. Wednesday morning could very well be just as cold as Tuesday. Um. But we start to warm up Wednesday afternoon, a chance we see low 40s. That'll be like a heat wave. And again, we'll climb above freezing for the first time in about 62 hours. Now, this is interesting. This is Thursday. Here comes the next impulse. And down below that, rain breaks out. And ooh, I see a wedge. I bet you do too. Cold air damming. And this is suggesting that uh, Thursday morning, there could be some freezing rain over North Georgia and Northeast Alabama up around Jackson and DeKalb counties. And we all know that models don't handle cold air damming situations that well. Uh, and obviously, at this stage of the game, it's just something to watch. You know, it, we've got to get through this big, high-impact, historic-type cold. But, you know, I'm telling you now, I'll warn you, traditionally, after big cold air outbreaks like this, if you get an imp impulse like this coming in really quick, you can have some problems with icing or something. So that is just something to watch. Thursday of next week, and then Friday, that impulse is uh, is gone. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.